I think this is a great example of how you know we need to study vocab for the SAT eventually. But if you're going to start with something, it's the transition words because these are fairly repetitive. Some of these are a little bit more unusual than others, right? I mean, we know, for example, just as an example, but we've got to know the others. By contrast, you probably know just from experience is a but word. But that said is also pretty much a but word, right? I mean, maybe there's a little nuance here, but it, in terms of our dumb summary, it just is contrasting. I love ice cream. That said, it makes me sick every time I eat it. That's a but, right? I love ice cream, but it makes me sick. So that's how it's functioning. And the purpose of these dumb summaries is to cut the word down to something that is dumb and simple so we can think about it better. So already I don't love A or C because they're both but words. That's not great. As such, I also have memorized is just a so. So now I can think about this whole thing in just much easier ways. Uh, let's take a look. Economist Eleanor Ostrom's studies of communities around the world have empirically demonstrated that common pool resources, such as grazing lands, can be sustainably managed by the people who use them rather than through private entities or centralized governments. Ostrom's work is repudiation of the tragedy of the commons, the view that individuals will inevitably overexploit a finite shared resource if given unfettered access to it. Well, thank God I know the dumb summaries here. It's not a but. I mean, I would cross them both out because they both are the same category. But I think a lot of people are going to want to put but here because they're like, oh, these things can be sustainably managed. That's positive. And then things will be overexploited. That's negative. But it's not quite what they're saying, right? They're saying she's repudiating this negative. So it's like a double negative. So it's actually a positive. So we're continuing an idea. It's not an example, right? Her her if it's not an, her work as a repudiation is not an example of the first thing. They're they both they are both the same example. They're just saying what she believes. So as such is perfect, and the word so really does fit here nicely, right? Um, she demonstrated that common pool resources uh, can be sustainably managed. So she has repudiated this tragedy of the commons idea, which says that people are going to overexploit things, right? So she's done work to show that things can be shared. So that's repudiating, refuting, proving wrong the idea that they can't be shared. So there is a little bit of a contrast. It doesn't work in the way that you would expect though. And that's the trap of the question, but the strategy helps so well here because instead of debating, is it a contrast or not? I'm kind of just like, well, if I trust the strategy by contrast, that said both mean, but. And if one is right, the other has to be right too. So they're gone. And now I've got a 50-50 choice. And I'm really just asking, is this an example? It is not. Is it a cause and effect in a weird way? I think when I put the word so in, I feel that it makes sense rather than actually thinking about it as a cause and effect. But that's really it. The strategy is so useful for these transition questions. And it all starts with just memorizing the words and being able to quickly categorize them into our main four categories. And, but, so, and for example. But remember, some won't fit those categories, so you got to be flexible, but a lot of them do, and that really helps us think about what's going on.